Hey guys, today I would like to share you how to jailbreak your iPhone on iOS 14.6 within a few minutes. And um, with this method, it is very easy. Um, you can jailbreak your iPhone SE, the first generation iPhone SE or your iPhone 6S, um, including your iPhone 6S Plus, as long as you are on A9 devices. And if you have the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus or the iPhone 8, you may need to turn off the passcode, otherwise um, it will be fail. So now, uh, right here, you need a computer with a Windows. And then uh, you need to go ahead and go into here. So uh, you need to download Gel M8. This allows you to run check on your Windows PC. And one more thing that you need is a USB flash drive. It could be 4GB, 8GB or 16GB. And now let me go ahead and plug it in. Make sure you download jlm8.iso file. It is only 142 megabyte. Um, I have already downloaded, so I'm not gonna download again. And now you need another software called uh, Rufus. With Rufus, it is free. It allows you to create bootable USB. And now uh, let me go ahead and uh, create a bootable USB right here. While you are creating a bootable USB, uh, your PC must connect it to the internet. And then uh, from here, uh, it is your USB flash drive. So make sure you select the right, uh, the right device. And then we have like here, uh, where you can select ISO file. Now let me go ahead and select jlm8.iso file, hit on open. Lastly, click on start. This is the pop-up that uh, you're gonna see. It is warning. If you have any data on your USB flash drive, it will be erased and completely uh, erase your USB flash drive so make sure your USB is empty and there is no important files inside your USB flash drive and now uh, lastly click on OK and uh, you're gonna wait for this process to, to finish after you see it is ready um, another thing that you need to do is uh, make sure you connect your iPhone into your PC before you restart it um, sometimes you may fail like uh, your PC doesn't recognize your phone um, you have to connect it first and now I'll close this page and let me restart my PC real quick as soon as your PC goes black uh, make sure you press on escape key or add file or delete key depending on uh, your laptop that you have uh, for me HP is going to be uh, escape key to go to BIOS now I need to boot into device options uh, which means I can uh, boot it from my USB uh, this entirely done on the USB it doesn't affect your Windows or your operation system uh, you don't need to worry about that so now uh, let me go ahead and press on F9 and from here where I can use my arrow down to move to my USB and hit on enter key as you can see, a check ran just pop up straight away and on your phone, you're gonna see uh, the pop up like this uh, where you need to trust. So this is very important. Uh, the reason that you may fail, it is because you did not trust your phone and it doesn't recognize. So uh, trust is very important. I can just click on it. And then on uh, my PC here, I can just go ahead and go into option. And from option, I need to check allow untrusted iOS version. Let me go back. And now we begin, hit on OK, and then uh, my phone will be entering recovery mode, like you can see. So just wait for a moment. Now for your iPhone with the home button, you need to hold on the power button plus the uh, home button for 10 seconds. And after that, uh, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for about 5 seconds. Uh, with this, uh, you need to do alongside the touch here. So while you click on start, you need to do it at the same time, uh, simultaneously. Um, so now let me show you how. Just like that, um, all you have to do is just wait for it. And now we see check ran logo right there. Don't worry if you see something like USB error here, but uh, don't worry about it. So if I go back into my home screen here, I can just wait about uh, five seconds. 
and you're gonna see check run pop up on your home screen just like that and make sure you, uh, your phone is connected to Wi-Fi and now I can just uh, launch check run and I should be able to install side here so just hit on install and now it kick back into your home screen and you will be able to see side here let me scroll down real quick and now we have uh, 14.6 on my iPhone I see the first generation uh, thanks for watching um, I hope this video will help you I know it is a bit late thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one